social gloves boxing, what really happened? Let's start off with one of the big fights, FaZe Jarvis. Oh, what a kid, man. He stood, he stayed composed. He did what he came to do. He showed that, hey, do, making TikTok videos instead of training is going to screw you over and knocks out Lee. Jarvis basically play boxing. I'm so happy that Jarvis did go out there and showcase his skills. Basically, whenever Lee would attack, the kid was like exploding, fl throwing arms and everything. But Jarvis stayed composed, picked the shots, landed them, clean. Every time you could see Jarvis hit, pop, it would it would like you know push uh, Lee's head back. And from the start to finish, Jarvis took the W. We're gonna be moving on to Deji now, Deji versus Hacker. Man, Deji was great in the first round. The problem I see with Deji is that he can give a punch, but he can't take one. And he gassed out. He seemed too big and dull. He didn't seem like he was super duper fit. And that kind of hurts it, you know? I, I had Deji winning the fight and land a haymaker, knock Vinny out. But surprise to Vinny, so Vinny surprised me. The kid took Deji's big shots, his straight lefts. Uh, one thing I, w I wish Deji would have done was mask his left behind or, uh, a jab, you know? Just like, just not just throw a, a, a straight power left. You know, throw a right, a, like a little feeler to find your range. To distract him, to hit him with the left. But what happened was, Vinny overcame, had the better gas tank, and took over and won the fight. Congratulations to Vinny. Uh, the one thing I'd like to say about Vinny was, I believe it was in the second round. When he landed a clean left hook uh, onto Deji. And that seemed to wobble him. And when Deji was getting up, when he took the knee, it was kind of obvious it was over. Deji was gassed. He was kind of wobbly. He just, he wasn't there anymore. Deji, I believe Deji mentally thought he was going to walk in there, land one, two punches. Vinny's out. But Vinny showed us, man, that... It's not, it's, it might not always be a one-two punch out. It might be a five-rounder. Congratulations. And for uh, DDG, he did amazing, basically. He played it safe. You know, he showed his uh, boxing ability over Wyatt. He landed the shots. Wyatt couldn't. Wyatt was gassed out near the end. DDG went. That, you know, he's, he's more superior. All that talk... And all that nonsense out the window. DDG proves that he was the better boxer, more experienced, and you know, training for two months won't get you into being an elite level boxer or even beating an amateur boxer, you know. So, congratulations to DDG as well. Hope you, all your YouTube. Then we move to the biggest goddamn robbery of the year in the YouTube boxing scene. I need some gear. As I made a, pre a previous video, he got massively robbed. There's no way in hell Taylor won any, any round. You could maybe argue, maybe the fifth, maybe, but no. And Isan Gibb won the fight. I would like um, the boxing uh, gloves to release the scorecards for everyone to see what the hell the judges were thinking what were they watching because i know what i saw and i think the entire world knew what they saw even taylor fans knew what they saw was taylor get beat up for five rounds pressure and awkwardness of a nissan gib so that will beg the question will they release it that tweet was suspicious because why tweet that out Oh, uh, Taylor Holder beats any son Gibb. I would allegedly say it could be uh, rigged. Shit was rigged. It was rigged. Everybody knows it. Everyone and their mothers and fathers and brothers Gibb won the fight fair and square. Do I want to see them re run it back? 
No, I need Sunky will do the same thing. Press, press him, and he'll have no answer. I need Sunky proves he's the better boxer, and he is. To the main event. Ooh, man. Bryce Hall cannot box. Um, uh, usually, and he like you know he's talking about I'm gonna knock you out. A lot of the uh videos we saw, him hitting pads and stuff, it looked really bad. It did show that Bryce was you know didn't know how to box when he was coming there to throw. He was kind of you know very aggressive, and Austin was just very accurate with his hits. Every time he went pop pop and it would connect, pop pop and it would connect. And it got to, Bryce got hurt, and when uh, Austin landed that straight little uppercut, it was it was pretty much done for Bryce, man. Uh, he he had trouble getting in range. The only th time I thought Bryce may have had a chance was when him and Austin started brawling for like a second or two. That was when I thought Bryce could have a chance. But my Austin was too composed. He picked his shots. He, and it did seem like whenever Bryce threw a shot, it didn't affect McBroom as much as McBroom's punches affected uh, Bryce. Um, I would say from my picks, I believe I, I, I got everything except the Deji fight, right? Congratulations, you know, champions. The YouTubers won. Um, congratulations to them. Uh, and... Congratulations, and I hope that he keeps his head up. Uh, you know, he's not a failure. He did good. I just don't think boxing's for him. I don't think he could take a punch and give one back. I think he, could, I think he, he can only give them and not receive them. He's like in, uh, in MMA. He can give the punch, but he he's really bad at taking them. So that is what happened. And the social gloves, YouTubers versus TikTokers. The YouTubers have won majority of the fights. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.